Shalom, Kodoshim. Hallelujah. Glory to Yahuwah, to the Most High. In this prayer, we are going to be coming against witchcraft. This is for anybody that got themselves entangled into the occult or any form of witchcraft, knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously. The devil is really deceptive. And no marvel, but Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11, 14. We must be very careful in these end times. There are many things that can get us exposed and open up doorways to trouble that we will not be able to get out of without the power and the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh and belief in Yahushua HaMashiach. It is written in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show yourself approved unto Yah, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if we understand this word and understand the Torah, the Father makes it pretty clear that he does not like witchcraft. Any form of witchcraft, don't matter what it is, it is an abomination to him. It is written in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10 through 14. There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or one that practices sorcery, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahuwah. And because of these abominations, Yahuwah, your Elohim, drives them out from before you. You shall be perfect with Yahuwah, your Elohim. But these nations which you shall possess, hearken unto sorcerers and unto diviners. But as for you, Yahuwah, your Elohim, has not suffered you so to do. The Father has not changed. He is the same as he was then, as he is now. And he's going to be the same until the end. Leviticus chapter 19, 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, not to seek after wizards, to be defiled by them. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Some of us might think it's cool to look at astrology, zodiac signs, get psychic readings, tarot cards, visit a wizard or a sorcerer. But I'm telling you, if you do these things, you are exposing yourself to the kingdom of darkness. So this is what this prayer is for. For those of us who ignorantly might have got themselves involved or entangled with the occult, that Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 It's not so obvious in today's society, but back then, every nation was doing witchcraft, worshiping idols. Before Hamashiach, the penalty was death, most likely. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 6 through 8 And the soul that turns after such as had familiar spirits, and after wizards, to go a horn after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. Sanctify yourselves therefore, and be you holy. For I am Yahuwah your Elohim, and you shall guard my statutes and do them. I am Yahuwah Mekodishkim, Yahuwah who sanctifies you. So you see from the scripture, the Father clearly says he will cut you off. Thank you, Yahushua, because he gave us a way out. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 2, verse 12 through 15. Bury with him in immersion, wherein also you are risen with him through faith in the operation of Elohim, who has raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all transgressions, blotting out the handwriting of dogma that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Hallelujah. That's some really good news. There's even more good news. Colossians chapter 1 13 who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son and when we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins hallelujah so i'm gonna get right to these prayers because this deliverance is for those who are suffering who are being attacked by witchcraft it is not a pleasant thing so i know what it's like i experienced it myself here are some signs that you are under attack of witchcraft whether you know it or not seeing yourself lusting after someone in a very uncontrollable manner or being sexually seduced in such a way that you can tell this is not normal always being lied against lying spirits in the place of work family or ministry experiencing extreme disfavor from people being rejected whatever you do no matter how sincere you are and how much effort you put in it doesn't even make sense things are always breaking down in your life and home without any likely reason probably you think you save enough for that thing that big purchase boom you got another accident your dream life will be a huge indication if you're under a witchcraft attack. Always seeing yourself in dreams trapped and unable to escape dangers, running into roadblocks, 
You see yourself in strange buildings with strange people you've never seen, places you've never been before, having meetings, people attacking you and beating you up in your dreams, seeing cats, snakes, dogs, and other strange animals in the dreams. Here are some more signs that you might be under witchcraft. Suddenly noticing strange insects, bugs, and other creatures showing up in your house. You might hear strange noises in the night, footsteps on the roof, hearing pots and pans clacking in the background. There's many more bizarre signs that you might see. These are just symptoms of being under a witchcraft attack. So what do we do? How do we make it stop? We gotta go into prayer. We gotta go into warfare for deliverance. Hallelujah. So in order for us to get complete freedom, we gotta search ourselves and we gotta repent. We gotta turn from the stuff that got us entangled. Have you been purposely casting spells on people? Have you went and got a psychic or tarot card reading? Have you touched a Ouija board? If we consulted with any mediums for any spiritual advice or consulting, this means we are seeking knowledge outside of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, but instead we are getting this information from familiar spirits. Another thing, we need to be rid of any occult objects. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25 and 26. The graven images of their gods shall you burn with fire. You shall not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it on to you, lest you be snared therein. For it is an abomination to Yahuwah, your Elohim. Neither shall you bring an abomination into your house, lest you be a cursed thing like it. For you shall utterly detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. So now I'm going to begin the prayer. Follow along with me. Pray with me. And we're going to renounce, we're going to denounce, and we're going to repent of all witchcraft and occult activity. And we're going to receive our freedom in the name of Yahushua. Amen. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 through 10. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that Yah is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah. O Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the victory that we have in Mashiach Yahushua. We thank you for the assurance of freedom and breakthrough. Yahuwah, your word says that if we ask anything according to your will, that you will hear and answer us, according to 1 John chapter 5, 14 and 15. You also said that you will fulfill the desires of those who fear you. You will hear their cry and save them, according to Psalms 145, 19. Oh, Yahuwah, we call on you from today for total freedom from every form of witchcraft activity against our lives and families. Father, we confess that we have the confidence and assurance that our prayers will be answered in Yahushua's holy name. Hallelujah. We thank you in advance, O Yahuwah, Adonai Yahushua, we thank you for our deliverance and freedom. We thank you that the operation of witchcraft comes to an end in our lives and family, henceforth, in Yahushua's name. Father, the word says that when we call on you, that you will show us great and mighty things which we do not know, according to Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Joel chapter 2, verse 32, it is written, And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahuwah shall be delivered. For in Mount Sion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahuwah has said, and in the remnant whom Yahuwah shall call. O Yahuwah, we are all in agreement, and Father, we repent, for we have either knowingly or unknowingly sought supernatural experiences apart from you, and we disobeyed your word. O Yahuwah, forgive our foolishness in the name of Yahushua. We are in agreement, and we confess, repent, and ask forgiveness for our involvement in occult practices such as witchcraft fortune telling, horoscopes, astrology, psychic readings, tarot cards, joining occult societies such as Freemasonry, and we renounce and denounce Satan in all occult practices, and we break all curses associated with those occult practices in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Revelation chapter 12 verse 10 through 11 it is written, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our Elohim and the power of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our Yah day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. 
and they love not their lives unto the death. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sins from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of Elohim was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. It is written, Wherefore, Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahusha, every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Yahusha HaMashiach, to the glory of Yah the Father. Hallelujah. So today, by the power in the name and the blood of Yahusha HaMashiach of Nazareth, we renounce and denounce all these things, and we ask for the cleansing of our mind, body, soul, and spirit, in the name of Yahusha. Hallelujah. We renounce and denounce witchcraft and magic, both black and white, in the name of Yahusha. We renounce and denounce Ouija boards and all other occult games in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all seances, clairvoyancy, mediums, second sight, and mind reading in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all fortune telling, palm reading, tea leaf reading, crystal ball gazing, tarot cards, and other card reading in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all astrology and entrance in horoscopes in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce the heresy of reincarnation and all healing groups involved in metaphysics in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all hypnosis under any excuse or authority in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all curiosity about the future or the past and which is outside of your will, O Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce water witching or dowsing, levitation, body lifting, table tipping, psychometry, and automatic writing in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce astral projection and other demonic skills in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all literature that we have read in any of these fields, any witchcraft books, Harry Potter, or anything that we've seen on the internet, and we vow that we will destroy and get rid of such books in our own possession in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce everything psychic and occultic in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We renounce and denounce every cult that denies the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce every philosophy that denies that Yahushua HaMashiach is the son of Elohim in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce evil meetings, coven visits, and invocation of false spirits in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce coffin spirits, gangsterism, heavy metal, and demonic worship through dance and songs in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all forms of occult signs, symbols, zodiac signs, charms, chakra stones, and trinkets. In the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach, hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah, in advance for your deliverance. Thank you, Yahushua, for setting us free. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. So now that we renounced and denounced all these different things and activities, now we could go into warfare and break curses and break every evil association that we might have gotten ourselves entangled with. So follow along with me and pray along with me. We do this together. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 through 20. Amen. I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Luke chapter 10 verse 17 through 20 it is written and the 70 returned again with joy saying Adonai even the devils are subject unto us through your name and he said unto them I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you Galatians 3 13 Mashiach has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us but it is written curses everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yahushua HaMashiach that we might receive the promise of the Ruach through faith. And one more thing we have to also break every evil association and break all demonic covenants that may be tying us to these evil altars and to these covens that are giving them the right to attack us. Exodus chapter 23 verse 31 through 33 it is written for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall cut no covenant with them, nor with their gods, 
they shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto you. It is also written in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 2 through 5. And when Yahuwah your Elohim shall deliver them before you, you shall smite them and utterly destroy them. You shall cut no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their astral poles, and burn their graven images with fire. Isaiah 49, 24-26 Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus says Yahuwah, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contends with you, and I will save your children, and I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, Yahuwah, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Yahakob. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 through 18, it is written, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Yahushua Hamashiach with Belial? And what part has he that believes with the infidel? And what agreement has the temple of Yahuwah with idols? For you are the temple of the living Elohim. As Yahuwah has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, says Yahuwah, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. Galatians chapter 6 verse 17. From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of battle, not Yahushua. It is also written in 2 Corinthians 5 17. Therefore, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Hallelujah. So I went through all these scriptures just to lay down a foundation before we go into the deliverance prayers. For the word of Yahuwah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him for whom we have to give account. So we are in agreement with the word of Yahuwah. We are going to stand against every demonic activity over our lives. For Yahuwah has given us his promises in his word that Satan cannot break. But by the power in the name and the blood of Yahushua, we are going to be set free from every spell, every curse, every hex, every vex, every incantation. Anything that the enemy is trying to place on us, we will be free in the name of Yahushua. We are also going to deal with the evil covenants and all evil associations. So bear with me and pray with me in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach of Nazareth. Let's go. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach of Nazareth, we break all psychic heredity and any demonic hold upon our family lines as a result of the disobedience of any of our ancestors. We also break any bonds of physical or mental illnesses in the name of Yahushua in the power of his blood. We break any curse placed on us from any occult source in the name of Yahushua. We also break all demonic subjection to our parents, or grandparents, or any other human being in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and break all spells, hexes, vexes, incantations, enchantments, voodoo, white magic, black magic, psychic powers, psychic prayers that would affect our mouth, eyes, body, head, hands, fingers, feet, legs, reproductive organs, digestive organs, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and the power of his blood. We reject, revoke, renounce, and denounce our memberships with the Illuminati, Freemasonry, Eastern Stars, Eastern Religions, Marine Spirits, Water Spirits, Dog Spirits, Mermaid Spirits, Witchcraft Spirits, Divination Spirits, The Queen of the Coast, The Queen of Heaven, Star Readers, Voodoo Priests, Halloween Groups, Familiar Spirits, Witches, Wizards, Warlocks, Psychics, Diviners, Soothsayers, Necromancers, Enchanters, Charmers, Witch Doctors, Santeria, Wiccan Witches, Spirits of the Dead, and all other occult societies in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and we reject all demonic names given to us from any evil association in the name of Yahushua. We withdraw and cancel our names from their registers with the blood of Yahushua. 
we renounce and denounce and we resign our position in any of these evil associations and we withdraw our services and responsibilities permanently in Yahushua's holy name. We renounce and denounce and we reject all yokes, burdens and loads that we have accepted previously or presently, consciously or unconsciously in the name of Yahushua. We reject, renounce and denounce all the evil works that we have done to innocent people through our membership with these evil associations, consciously or unconsciously. And we plead that Yahuwah, Ahabah Shalom, to forgive us and wash us clean with the blood of Yahushua in the name of Yahushua. Thank you, Father. By the blood of Yahushua and by the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh, we purge ourselves of all evil foods and drinks that we have eaten or drinking in any of these evil associations in the name of Yahushua. We withdraw our blood, sperm, urine, feces, hair, pictures, or any part of our body that has been deposited on these evil altars from these evil associations in the name of Yahushua. We withdraw our pictures, images, and inner man from the altars and coven of these evil associations in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and reject and we return to any of these evil associations that we are connected with, the instruments, clothes, mantles, shoes, and any other properties at our disposal for the execution of duties and we lose fire to rain down from heaven to roast them to ashes in the name of Yahushua. We command all evil agents of Illuminati, Freemasonry, Eastern Religion, Eastern Star, Marine Spirits, Water Spirits, Dog Spirits, Mermaid Spirits, Witchcraft Spirits, Divination Spirits, Queen of the Coast, Queen of Heaven, Star Readers, Voodoo Priests, Halloween Groups, Familiar Spirits, Witches, Wizards, Warlocks, Psychics, Diviners, Soothsayers, Necromancers, Enchanters, Charmers, Witch Doctors, Santeria Priests, Wiccan Witches, Spirits of the Dead, Spirits of Jezebel, Spirit of Leviathan, Spirit of Python, Spirit of Lilith, Spirit of Delilah, and all other occult societies to come out of our lives don't return in the name of Yahushua. We call on heaven and earth right now to witness this day that we are totally separated from any evil association in the name of Yahuwah, Yahusha, and the Ruach HaKodesh. We renounce and denounce and we break any covenant, agreement, initiation, dedication, alliance, oath, contract, vow, or ritual that knowingly or unknowingly to us still binds us to any of these evil associations in the name of Yahusha and the power of his blood. We break all inherited evil covenants, initiations, agreements, dedications that we have entered into consciously or unconsciously which open the door to gain access into our lives in the name of Yahushua. But if I cast out devils by the Ruach Yahuwah, then the kingdom of Yahuwah has come on to you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. We bind, we rebuke, and paralyze all demons familiar spirits, monitoring spirits, the strongholds, and evil spirits attached to these covenants, the cultisms, sorceries, astrologies, tarot cards, palm reading, and every other form of witchcraft. We command them to come out of our lives, go into the abyss, and we seal them all with unquenchable fire of Yahuwah in the name of Yahushua. Nahum chapter 2 verse 13. Behold, I am against you, says Yahuwah Sebaoth, and I will burn her chariots in the smoke. And the sword shall devour your young lions, and I will cut off your prey from the earth, and the voice of your messenger shall no more be heard. According to the scripture, we silence every messenger of Satan, speaking against our lives, our families, and our destinies from the camp of the enemy in the name of Yahushua. We resist and we reject every attempt to return back to these evil associations because we are now under a new covenant, the covenant of the blood of Yahushua in the holy name of Yahushua HaMashiach of Nazareth. We cancel and break every evil covenant with idols and the yokes attached to them. We also terminate all covenants or agreements of blood or soul tie entered on our behalf or done by ourselves knowingly or unknowingly with any spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We cancel all covenants and agreements and dedications entered by our parents or anyone in our bloodlines on our behalf and all the yokes and loads attached to them in the name of Yahushua. Every generational covenant or agreement, initiation, dedication, alliance, oath, contract, vow, ritual affecting the destinies of the people in our bloodline and family, we command to be destroyed by fire and dissolved by the blood of Yahushua in the name of Yahushua. 
by the deliverance assurance in the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, we decree and declare we are now separated, we are detached and unplugged from the consequences of any generational idolatry from either our mother's house or our father's house in the name of Yahushua. We command all evil decrees, declarations, rituals, and sacrifices that require renewal in our family lines to come to an end right now. And may every power that wants to renew any negative family pledge upon our lives fail in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Right now, we command all ancient decrees, agreements, covenants, dedications, initiations responsible for a chain of evil events in our lives and families to be destroyed by fire and brimstone and by the blood of Yahushua in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare we are now free from rising and falling. We decree and declare ourselves free from the circle of stagnation, backwardness, fruitless labor, and chain of evil events in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We decree and declare ourselves connected to favor, progress, good health, long life, and financial prosperity in the name of Yahushua. We come against every evil altar that's speaking and standing against our lives and families, wherever they are, whether they're in our place of birth, in our workplace, in the home that we used to live, or the house that we live in now. We command them to catch fire and roast the ashes in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We pull down every spiritual prison house where our gifts, treasures, virtues, and blessings are being held. We claim total recovery of everything that belongs to us seven times fold. Buried in any spiritual prison house, we lose fire and brimstone to destroy all spiritual prisons and burial sites being used against our lives and our destinies in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce every evil covenant that we have made intentionally or unintentionally with witchcraft forces, sorcerers, magicians, witches, and wizards, false prophets, seers, spiritists, cultists, water spirits, dog spirits, marine spirits, mermaid spirits, astrologers, mind readers, telepathists, psychics, soothsayers, clairvoyants, and any other satanic mediums in the name of Yahushua. Every curse, declaration, and punishment attached to these evil covenants that were speaking against us before now is at this moment rendered null, void, and broken in the name of Yahushua and the power of his blood. Every witchcraft symbol, sign, crystal ball, mirror that's monitoring and sending reports about us and our families to the witchcraft kingdoms, to the kingdom of darkness, we command to catch fire, be destroyed, roast the ashes in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Every witchcraft animal, birds, dogs, cats, owls, flies, spiders, snakes, ants, and any other that we do not know that's been projected to monitor, to afflict, and to bring pain into our lives, we command them to catch fire and roast the ashes and never rise again in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Any evil tree in our families, ancestral homes, or in the present building where we live, from where incantations, spells, charms, chants, voodoo, hoodoo, black magic, white magic, and evil summons that are made against us, we command to be consumed by fire in the name of Yahushua. We speak an end to all evil storms in our lives right now. We speak an end to suffering, failures, bitterness, rejection, miscarriages, barrenness, afflictions, restlessness, sleeplessness, sickness, nightmares, and every night attack projected against our lives in the name of Yahushua. Every unconscious evil soul tie and covenant or agreement with the spirits of our dead parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, cousins, custodian of family gods, idols, oracles, and shrines be broken by the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach in the name of Yahushua. Blood of Yahushua, arise, destroy and erase any evil contract, pledge, or promise bringing curse and harm into our lives and families in the name of Yahushua. Every covenant or agreement that's been forced on us through dreams be canceled right now by the blood of Yahushua. We nullify and bring to an end every evil contract that we either sign intentionally or unintentionally in our dreams. We withdraw our signatures and agreements from every spiritual arrangement responsible for evil marriages in our dreams in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We willingly decree and declare that today we are not in any engagement or in any marriage with any spirit husband, spirit wife, or water spirits in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Marriage is an institution that happens with the consent of each partner. Once again, we state that we have not given consent to any evil spirit, man or woman, to claim marriage to us in our dreams. All you demons that appear in our dreams and claim to be our spouse, stop your lies and tricks. 
get out of our lives, pack your loads from now onwards, and go into the abyss. We bind you, we cast you out in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that today that our bodies are the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh. We therefore command to cease all forms of evil contamination and sex in the dreams in the name of Yahushua. Henceforth, we decree and declare that our dreams shall be revelation from Yahuwah Sebaoth. In our dreams, we receive angels and Yahuwah's ministering spirits. In the name of Yahushua, we release our heads, our hair, our destiny, and our glory from every evil covenant, covens, soul ties, and demonic land on of hands. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Ruach HaKodesh fire arise, consume every evil deposit that enter our bodies through dreams, rituals, ungodly sacrifices, and all evil covenants in the name of Yahushua and the power of his blood. We speak life, healing, restoration, and prosperity over ourselves. We command our visions and our pursuits to receive the divine power of speed and acceleration in the name of Yahushua. Every evil seed emanating from our past relationships, associations, affiliations, and connections, trying to scatter our lives and destinies, try to pull us down, be destroyed today by fire in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce every invisible or unknown evil covenant speaking against our lives and families. We reject them and we command them to end from this day forward is over in the name of Yahushua. We lose fire and brimstone to destroy every evil law enforcement agency in the spirit realm for where negative ideas, strategies, and plans are being devised and projected against us in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. By the power and the blood of Yahushua, we cancel all evil accusations against us and we destroy all satanic evidence tendered by wicked spirits against our lives, spiritually and physically, in the name of Yahushua. All our blessings that have been captured and buried by our enemies, we command to be released now by fire seven times fold. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 30 and 31. If a thief has been found, he is restored back seven times fold all the substance of his house in the name of Yahushua. Now, by the power and the blood of Yahushua, we disown, we evict, and evacuate by fire any evil powers, familiar spirits, marine spirits, Attached to our lives and we replace them now with the power and the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh in the name of Yahushua. Isaiah 54, 11 through 12. O oh, you afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay your stones with fair colors and lay your foundations with sapphires. And I will make your windows of a goats and your gates of carbuncles and all your borders of pleasant stones. O oh, Yahuwah, according to this word, break down the faulty foundations, the walls, gates, windows and borders of our lives and rebuild, restore, repair, fortify and barricade it in a new one in Mashiach Yahushua in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah. We remove every satanic embargoes, tags, hindrances, obstacles and or blockages that have been put in the way of our progress by our involvement with these demonic associations and covenants in the name of Yahushua. Every spell, enchantments, incantations, vexes, hexes, white magic, black magic, voodoo, santeria, or psychic powers against our spirit, soul, and body, and against the purposes of Yahuwah for our lives, we command to be nullified and broken today and forever in the name of Yahushua and the power of his blood. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahuwah, strong and mighty. Yahuwah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahuwah, Sebaoth, he is the King of glory. Selah. Open unto me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise Yah, this gate of Yahuwah, into which the righteous shall enter. According to these scriptures, we command all doors and or gates of blessings and breakthroughs, testimonies, marriages that have been shut against us because of our involvement with these demonic associations to be open and we enter in and we possess our possessions in the name of Yahushua. Anyone that is connected to us that is under one spell or the other, we loose them today in the name of Yahushua. Zechariah chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 it is written, And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run. Speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls, for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, says Yahuwah, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. O Yahuwah, according to this word, 
build a wall of fire round about us and our households and be the glory in the midst of it that will make it completely impossible for these evil spirits to track, trace us, or come back to us again in the name of Yahushua. Job chapter 22 verse 28. You shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you, and the light shall shine upon your ways. According to the scripture, we decree and declare total victory over every witchcraft and occult activity over our lives and families in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We command every operation of witchcraft operations in our lives and families to be completely destroyed in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 2 verse 2 through 4 it is written, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach HaKodesh, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Ruach gave them utterance. As a rushing mighty wind, O Yahuwah, fill our households, and fill us with the Ruach HaKodesh, until the cup overflows. Fill up every gap, every crevice, every void that's been emptied out, with the presence of your Ruach HaKodesh, in the name of Yahushua. Thank you, Father, for this mighty deliverance. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, Yahuwah, we pray. Activate our spirits, souls, and bodies for revival. Activate our spiritual wings to fly like an eagle. Activate our hands to prosper from now onwards. Activate our feet to possess our possessions and walk into our places of dominion. Activate our eyes to see the things ordained for our lifting and to see the glory of Yah. Activate our ears to hear from you clearly and from the Ruach HaKodesh. Activate our hearts to receive wisdom and understanding in all events and circumstances. Father, activate our mouths to speak and prophesy with truth and with fire. Activate our bodies for divine healing. And we pray in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. It's done. Hallelujah. We seal these declarations and warfare prayers with the blood and testimony of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth. Hallelujah. All glory, honor, salvation belongs to Yahuwah Elohim and to the Lamb. Thank you, Yahushua. Listen as many times as you need until you get your complete freedom. And you will receive your freedom because who the Son sets free is free indeed. Shalom.